All right, good afternoon, guys. Well, we're back here with the water line project. After talking with them, instead of waiting until fall, when we shoved both lines through each end, we taped off and seen where it got us to. Well, it got us right to this X mark here. So, we're gonna come in, dig down, maybe expose about five foot of that pipe, see if we can possibly uh, see if the pipes collapse or what's holding it up or fish the line through one end to here and then use this point to help push it up to the garage. So, let's go ahead and get after it and start digging. Yeah, I think it just humps up so bad. Well, we're down to jam a pipe in it more. That's a pretty good hump there. Yeah. What the hell feeds it up? I bet running that trencher across all this rock it just bouncing now we can all go back in Look at water. Huh? Look at all that water. Mm -hmm. Is a joint there? No. No, right. Come up here. Right there. I don't think. I think that's just where I caught it with the bucket. You didn't get the bucket under and pour it up out there like that, did you? Huh? No. Because all I did is just skim it right there and then I started hand digging. I think the saw's going to cut that son of a bitch open. You will get a lot of water, I bet you. Probably. It was full of mud. That hump wouldn't. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the it. pipe looks flat, that one closest to the house. Yeah, because I hit it. Right there. I mean, on the bottom. Yeah, I hit it. Oh. I mean, it ain't crushed. It's all around all the way back to there. Well, now nah, I guess I'm out of tennis shoes. A little dry, we can let them dry, sit on your porch. Uh, yeah, no, that one's all good too. You just hose them off while sit on your porch in the sun. I think. Why are you taking it off? I think my other pair's still saturated too. Be something that way you can hand work it from here up if you had to. I thought we hit that front line up here somewhere. 
it would run that way. That phone line. I thought it come out in an angle. It don't go that way though. It came. I know we came across the driveway. You dug right here trying to find it. Or we had a ditch across here. <laughs> I guess there really wasn't a whole lot of water in that. If there was, it would still be filling. Still coming out of that upper pipe, though. No. Nah, it. Yeah, it is. See the queen? Not all that much, though. Yeah. Yeah, I still got a bad hump right here. I can't get. Huh? There's a bad hump still right here. Okay. Well, we were spot on with our X. Found a line, cut it open, had some water in it. So, tomorrow, we will feed the old water line from over there to up here make sure it don't get caught and then keep feeding it from here to up there make sure it don't get caught anywhere else hopefully it don't and the fact that we have here as an advantage point to help push it through so with it getting late we will be back at it again tomorrow Good morning. We're back at it again. Water went down some. So now we will go over there and feed this through.
if we are out of the ground up here There's some more. So, we was close. We can get it that way. Getting it. Okay. Well, there it is. I've already had it out. I had it clear out up there. I had to push it back. You'll have that. <coughs> if I can get the end of that pipe all the way in here, we won't have a problem and we can pull it back out and then feed the string up through. Yeah. But it's getting caught further back by underneath the backhoe though too. Yep. See if it came all the way through back here. And we still got a little bit more to go. A little bit. We'll shove some more. 
and then go uncover that and see what we get. this So, I think we're hitting about up there at the garage, but I know we can get past it coming from up there, so we will mark this just to make sure, feed it back through that way, because we know we can get going that way, so get it pulled back out. If I can get it pulled back here, hopefully I don't have
Oh, we dig a ditch for the 100 amp breaker up there in the garage. If I put a garage out here for her, yeah, and we have enough electric in the house to bring it out here. It's 200 amps in the garage, and I ain't using near that. French gave way on us. Luckily, we was able to get tobacco out. Yeah, was able to save it. Wasn't too bad. A little tricky, but got it out. No problemo.
feed some more through. Hopefully that bend don't screw us up too much. Kinks and lines getting us. Thin wall stuff, it sucks, but it works for the application it was used for for a while. Yep. Okay. It's out of the oh out of there. Whoops. Hmm. Undermined. Now, I need to pull this back about, oh, let's say 15 feet. Let's see. Put on a dot. So put a mark on it up here. Pull 15 feet out, pull that pipe out, clean out the bottom of the ditch, go get some new pipe to replace that with. Get the two lines tied together and See, yep, get the new water line installed. This is 300 feet. We're going to use the equipment to pull it through. Hook this up to the Mahindra. To feed it, or sorry, the backhoe to feed it, use the Mahindra, pull everything out. Okay. Alright. So we just need. 15 feet from that. Maybe. Wow. Huh. Problem is water in the pipe, so it's wet and slippery. I could just walk down there and check it, but I don't feel like walking back and forth that many times. Let's see. Nine feet. Need about six more. Dry 
off a little bit. Get a rag. That's going to work. on something. Let me go check. There we go. Gets wet. Slippery. Shavings. Is it grinding on something? <laughs> we should have our 15 feet now. I still see it. We're right there at the end. Okay. Now we just need 15 feet of pipe. Pull that. See if I can get a little bit more out. Something else is catching this. I don't know why. Trying to avoid from digging up the whole yard, really. I mean, yeah, made a bombshell. But, should have used conduit or piping I mean the four inch worked and it was a good idea at the time but not so much now yeah that ain't too bad now Just a little tighter work in here. Since that's being a pain in the ass. Um, let's see. Okay. Slide my coupling in. Hopefully it goes. Pipe's a little smashed. Oh yeah. Okay.
Craig. Man, is it humid. Alright. Ain't perfectly clean, but it'll hold. carried away. <laughs> All right, like you say, it ain't perfect, but it holds. there crimps on than we need and clamps and duct tape I am not having this line come apart Dumbass. Hmm. Maybe the crimps won't work. Is 
how much that expanded, it probably won't. No. Nope. That's right on the end of it, but I'll still crimp it with the hell. Man, is it humid. I think that clamp's gonna catch us. Won't be. We're gonna have to use a regular hose clamp. I don't want that catching on the ribs of the pipe. At least we have a little more. Well, I, mean, I guess that one's got that bolt that sticks all the way out, so this might be a little bit better. Should have brought a little ratchet. Ratchet, I'll be back. Might not even have to heat this one up. Nope. Huh. You can crimp some holes out, huh? Crimps in the band and the duct tape. Between all of them, they should. I hope. <laughs> Oh, 
If it don't, we're going to dig the whole goddamn thing up, put new in. I ain't playing around with it. Yeah. Going towards the garage, that's your pipe? Yeah. That's going the other way, it's that garbage, huh? Yeah, that's what we pulled out. Your pipe will probably stay together. That other pipe will bet pulls apart. That's what I'm worried about, the other stuff. Should have just, uh, should have just went home and got that other blue water line I got to feed through this way. Let's see what happens. Here. Hopes, dreams, and duct tape. That pipe's out of the ground down there before the blue pipe hits the bad spot down here. Yeah. Hopes, dreams, and duct tape. Throw some zip ties on it too. Oh. Throw some zip right. ties on it. Well, it's just one thing I gotta hope now. <laughs> oh, that that pipe will stay tight on there. Oh. But this is gonna stay tight on that. I might have to stretch a little bit and tape it too. And if it does, then it pulls it back through. Here's a good spot to cut her.
cinch down on top of itself. So, go this way, down through, up and over. That ain't a good wrap. I'm gonna cinch on itself. Well, shit. Do this. Do what? I ain't gonna be able to see you when I start backing up. Yeah. We'll just go a little bit. I'll walk up by the backhoe. We'll go a little bit and then. We gotta make sure we don't pull it through too far. That'll really cool. Yeah. But, I mean, I just only try five foot for now. See what happens if it's gonna be real hard or if it's gonna pull apart. At five foot, we should be able to tell. back up a little bit see if it's gonna hold or not yeah Coming. just pulling the strap right off Yeah, but I have nothing. Oh. Put a clamp back here. I need a massive clamp. This clamp won't even be close to getting that. Yeah, this one ain't even close to doing that. one no must pull it apart Bunch of this out. 